All right, we might as well start recording here because I have no idea what I'm recording anyway. So we're gonna work on the Carnelia fight. Where you you grab her from the ether here. Okay, so let's see. So Cardelli, as as we come out of the, let's see, as we come out of the programmer here, we're going to meet with Carnelia, who is going to meet a terrible fate. Okay, so this is unit four one nine two. I'm just gonna be lazy. I'm just gonna make a new event instead of just moving the one that I already have. <laughs> this is great. Don't mind me. I'm just doing my thing. And then we'll work. I don't think we're gonna do too much with the fight. But yeah, it's Alreman's Workshop Club. I don't think we're gonna do too much with the fight. But you get to see me be lazy at the beginning here. And no, he won't be teaming up with this goofy IR cop or whatever. I'm going to have him get knocked out beforehand or whatever. Alright. Okay, so let's see. Wait, what? Oh, I got you. Okay. okay, let's see. All the pieces that need moving here. So you gotta kick out the original. Oh uh, no, please don't wait. Okay, there we go. And we gotta bring in Carnelia. And the second instance of the unit. Actually here, what I can do, come to think of it. Oh, do I have a downed, uh, do I have a downed version of this person? I don't think I... Wait, I might. Um, yeah, there's one. Okay, we can hear. We can do it this way. Okay. This will actually be a separate unit. To suggest that there are things... Okay, so you're a fighter or whatever. Excellent. Okay, so now this one's down and the glibs are doing their glibby thing or whatever. Okay. However... These actually all also have to... Okay, hang on. See, the problem is I gotta wake up before I can do anything efficient. Alright. Okay, let's turn all those guys on. And then, like I said, we probably won't have to replicate and we probably won't have to mess too much with the computer glib fight. This will just be a slightly different kind of glib. I could maybe give them different techniques from the first glib, but you only fight up to two glibs in the whole game before this point, so it seems like kind of a waste to the enemy if I just move on and make some new stuff. You know, kind of work with what you have before you start feature creeping. Creepy freaks. Nobody remembers that joke. All right, let's see. For Araman's War Chest of Doom, freaking Araman, I, I knew this would, I knew this would come back to haunt me. No, thanks, Shadow Usher. Side note, I watched Trial 3. That sure was a thing. That sure was some dank weed all around. I didn't hate it, but 
It was some dank weed. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're probably gonna have to do a fade to make this work because otherwise all these things will just appear arbitrarily So we can do like a fade in here. It's accompanied by a fade out when we leave the Programmers place the first time Okay, all right, that's enough of that Yeah, I need some music that's like action-y so I could actually wake up. I find that I'm coming into a lot of these videos not really knowing what I want to work on and that's kind of bad because it'll waste time on YouTube. I'm sure it ultimately doesn't matter, but yeah. Also, I didn't record anything on Tuesday because we just spent the whole day grabbing a bunch of extra resources. And then ironically, one of the one of my viewers actually sent me some more resources, most of which I ended up already having, but some of them were very nice and unique. So many thanks for those. I'm, I'm like so tired, I don't remember the username right now. I, it's, it's like one of the only people who comments on the freaking <laughs> our pick of videos I know, but you gotta let Timmy Odiaf get some sleep. I think I just, I've gotta pull the switch before the teleport. I don't remember, I remember I checked this before and I don't think it actually mattered, but whatever. We can put it there anyway. It's not like it'll break anything by overkilling it. Could listen to debate scrum for the entire stream. Nah, I gotta upload this. So, uh, at least for the recording, we'll listen to uh, some stuff. Let's see. That's uh, what's that say? Mohenjo Daro. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream of doom. Unfortunately, it did not fall into cup. Wait, where am I? Oh, here we go. I didn't even put the fade, did I? I did not. Alright. Great. But yeah, debate scrum would be a great way to wake me up. That's that is true. Okay, so flame pops out here in the thing, okay. And I'll let's throw some animations on the screen here. Let's see, so the wild glibs, I just gave like 10 more HP and that's about it for now. We'll see what else we can do. Let's see, glib gloop. Do they even need a regular attack at this point? They've got like plenty of their own techniques. They probably don't even need a regular attack. Hmm. Solar flare. So let's see, we'll do a quick stop in a glib gloop. I don't know where they are, we'll just find them. Well, don't do that. <laughs> I think we need a different bot. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Alright, let's find out where all this crap is. It's gonna be somewhere in there. Glib for every lib, that's probably what it is. Hey Mac. How you doing, buddy? Oh crap, I actually can't see that. There we go. Let's see. Uh Nisha Developments, that's a that's a username. Welcome, welcome. I always want to know the story behind some of these usernames, you know? They're always just, like, interesting. Every once in a while, someone will come in and be like, I have no idea how this username could have come into existence. Let's see. Uh, okay, but we don't need to, uh, here. Who's the front glib? If one's, I think one's the front glib. Never 
move to the right. See, because the idea is that we're going to pretend... Oh, yeah, McDonald's Airport Internet. Right, that username. God dang it. Yeah, that one always got me, actually. You're right. You're right. Uh, so the idea here is we're going to replicate the notion of a fight. Uh, you know what might be useful is a save point inside the programmer's uh, area here. What's the first save point on the boat, interestingly? Where's a save point? Uh, Blaine's room, right? Yeah, here's a save point. Okay. Yeah, I might as well have, like, a save somewhere in here. I guess, like, right over here. It's McDonald's Airport Wi-Fi. Well, through my goodness, Mac, how could this be? All right, let's see. Let's get back to this fight here before I spend 5,000 years on it like everything else. Should be able to just play the uh, whatever the heck the thing is. Let's see. Thank you for the follow knees. Oh wow, and thank you for the bits as well. Get get in that cup, you you bits. There've been a lot of bouncing lately. Oh good, they stayed in the cup for once. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I actually don't know what the oh it's collapsed, isn't it? Yeah, it's collapse. <laughs> yeah, the bits are being a little more bouncy lately, I guess. Okay, so we'll play the... Alright, then the unit fighter will collapse. Alright, so let's see. This is facing up. Alright. So I actually need to change the direction to up before switching because I hate the other way around. You can see like a little flicker of the sprite that it's not supposed to be. Of doom. Doom, demise, and destruction. The three Ds. Why have we not called them that? Why have we not called them the three Ds? That's like a perfect pun. We're so derpy. God dang it, dude. This joke's been going on for like seven years and nobody noticed that. Alright. What the flit was I doing? I don't remember what I was doing. Oh, Carnelia is reacting. What about darkness? Alright, well, we're not 4D, so we can't, like, we can't do that. Game is sci-fi. Game is, um... What genre did we settle on here? This is like a modern mixed... Yeah, Rainstorm's got it. <laughs> oh, Rapfasser Phoenix. Yeah, so the, what's going on here is, um, in this game, there's something called a port arc, which lets you physically enter the boat, which is an acronym for the Bridge of All Travel, which is basically just the deep net. So all these portals you see, which are themselves references, let you enter and exit the, the internet as an entity. Blaine needs to get angry. Let's 
Why'd you have to copy paste the? Why'd you have to copy paste the thing, Rainstorm? The part about the wheelbarrow. No, okay, it's fine. Um, so the, the channel name, channel name is somewhat of a misnomer. I am one individual person running the channel. However, I do regularly have guests uh, doing LPs with me, doing like wrestling commentary on other shows and stuff. So yeah, it's a, it's just a very odd choice for channel name that I made up in like 2009 or whatever the flid. Yup, they all call me team. Because I was bad at picking names in 2009. <laughs> Yay. And, and trust me, I have contemplated changing it many a time. Alright, I don't have super angry Blaine yet. Let's, let's show you all super angry Blaine. Kate has been doing work here. I do LPs of just about everything. Alright, that's it, Ralph. We're gonna make you the villain. No, okay. Right. <laughs> I mean, I had to pull off some of these personalities pretty darn well, though, right? Like Steph and Kate and everything. That must have been one heck of a task. But yeah, ULPs are pretty much everything. Uh, incidentally, we did just buy like three uh, RPG Maker games from the Steam sale that I hope to start soon. Now that Prince of Persia is done, gotta do. I gotta finish Sonic Adventure DX as well. But we will be doing uh, Arpegas after that. Oh, uh, sure. Feel free to throw it my way, knee. Because I'm not going to lie, I actually want to play more RPG Maker games. I would like to make them a regular thing as long as all the sound files play properly. Alright, I'm getting distracted here. I need to find my facial expressions. Because I just remembered that I'm actually recording. So I guess we should uh, be nice to the people on YouTube here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, let's... Wait a minute. Hold on, I'm getting confused here. Did I not download all the files that Kate gave me? Oh, I did. Here we go. I'm going crazy, everybody. Don't mind me. Old Team UDF can't locate his darn files. You're gonna dig it, Mac! Oh, yeah, you're fine. Including the anime hair, yeah, of course. <laughs> Alright, we've got some more... We've got some more face variety here, courtesy of the Kate. You guys need to get lost. Angry Blaine. This is like triggered Blaine. He sees the Carnelia is gonna get hurt and he is pissed. He is pissed off. This is on Game Jolt. Hey, Catabella, how you doing, buddy? Nope. Uh, something, something's off with the code there or whatever it is. How you doing, Catabella? You like candy? You want some candy? Candy Cadet will give you some candy. Wait, what was I doing? Okay. I really need to figure out what the flip I'm doing. You guys need to get lost. Alright, alright. Okay, so I need to actually know the position of where... Okay, so he's here. So this is one, two, one, two, three. Alright, so we're jumping... Candy Cadet. I will never get tired of this jump sound effect. Curse you, Game Jolt, for being weird. Team doesn't have pop up chat on stream. That's right, Mac. Nobody can see. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's happening? There it is. Okay. It's really hot today, yeah. Weather's getting pretty garbage. Oh, 
Oh, I need to allot you the time to... We gotta bring back the official stream setup. Oh, God. The freaking two songs. Whatever the fl that other joke was that I did. red. Might as well use it. I'll just equip it for him. It should work. Oh, I can fit all. I can be able to fit all of it. Nope. Scabbing. <laughs> use this. I still want to make the Epoch Reaver really good. Alright, so Blaine's gonna equip the Scar Bane. We're just gonna say screw it, do it. Equip the Scar Bane. I probably should take a, uh, nah. We'll just do Daybreak here. I don't remember where Daybreak is, though. I've got too much music in here. I really need to get rid of the files I'm not using. There's like five billion songs. Here we go. Excellent! Except while I'm listening to it. Lower it a little bit. Okay. <laughs> and I didn't make the battle, so good for me. Glub glub. Jesus. What is wrong with me? These freaking names. Alright. Glub glub. Alright. Yeah, because this is old. Oh, this isn't even the thing! Alright. Wild glib. Maybe we'll hear the Wasp song. God dang it, that freaking song. How does this look? It does not look like garbage, that's all I care about. Alright, good. Okay. You know what? Wait, no. Aha. Where's the step back? Where it is. Good to Texas weather. I'm in the high 90s, sometimes 100 plus with no clouds in the sky. Then it rains all day on 4th of July. Yeah, I was very happy about that. It rained right as people were getting started with their goofy fireworks yesterday. So I got some peace and quiet. Freedom. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we beat them, they're all gone. Tired of this. 
you know what I should do is I should change the thing back. All right. All right, so we beat the glibs. What song happens after we beat the glibs? What well, sounds like a song that suggests good things have happened? This one. The best of good sounding songs. Definitely not the song that one would play while revealing the villain. This is definitely the good things have happened song. All right, well, that's enough of that. Okay, let's see. I'll figure that out later, I guess. Wait, oh! I actually know what song would fit here, but it's not looped. So I can freaking figure that out later. Do a two second fade. Have the two face each other. We did it! That's not like... Yeah, yeah, that works, I guess. We did it! Do a quick explanation jump. Actually, do a blank facial expression before. All right, now we can do the thing, save some progress every once in a while here, okay. Uh, the shirt you bought during Zaldothan arrived. Oh man, oh I wonder if, yeah, a couple of you guys were interested in shirts during uh, GDQ as well. I wonder if Satellite got his. Which shirt did you get? Is it? A Wind Waker Depressed Ganon shirt. My favorite shirt. It's not. It's not. It's not even a shirt. Alright. Does RPG Maker allow for mid-song loops or sound channel shenanigans? You, people usually open Audacity and do things. Unfortunately... Um, RPG Maker by itself, without like plugins, does not have a feature like ZC where you can decide where to loop the song. So you have to set all that stuff up outside the program. Like I said though, there might be a plugin that does something, I just have not found it. I like how the explanation is basically just that one line of dialogue and you almost don't need the cut, but... At least this can skip all the... weird things. Okay. That seems suspicione. Wait a minute. Shadow Wisher was here before. She's double dipping! Nah, I'm kidding. Okay, that's fine. She went to get her shirt, you see. Slime Buddies? Slime Buddies! Everybody should see the new Slime Buddies we've obtained. Avi has amazing Slime Buddies. Well, actually, Avi has amazing everything, but... She's got slime bat buddies. Look at the slime bat buddies. We can do the thing. This game just needs every variant of enemy to have a slime buddy. I demand slime buddies of everything. But yeah, that's how audacity is pronounced. Have you? I'm kind of curious how Rainbow would say it now. Or you like? 
Audacity or something. I'm trying to think of other ways this, this word could be pronounced. Audacity. You're in awe of the city. All right, that's enough of that. See, because Carnelia doesn't care about herself. Audio City. Oh. But, but where's the O? Gosh darn it, Rainbow, you and your confusing nonsense. Oh, okay. Alright, that's fair. Oh, Ral actually used to say it. Auto City. Oh, okay. I remember for Arcadia, I used to say Arcadia, which probably doesn't make sense to a lot of you, because that's like, all it does is it takes the word and splits it up a lot more, so it's like almost correct, but I didn't get that it was just like a straight shot through like Arcadia, you know, it's Arcadia, I would like break up the word for some goofy reason in 8th grade. Did the link work? Oh crap, is there like a PM waiting for me? Hang on. I don't get PMs while I'm streaming for some- Oh, I think we figured out why I don't get PMs while streaming. Yes, I did get a PM, okay. Let's see... Uh... Yeah, I have to sign into Game Jolt though. I don't have a Game Jolt account. But it looks like the link does indeed work. Had the software installed in our school computer, so you encountered it quite early. Oh, that's good. I don't remember if we had Audacity anywhere. Ah, you're fine, knees. You're fine. I like how your knee Shaw, but I'm 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 saying knees for your nickname. That doesn't make any sense. All right, Catabella, listen up, you troublemaker. Now, okay, here. Right, yeah. I saw another stream do that recently. They they did the whole GIF and GIF argument. It was pretty funny. It's obviously good you f good you f gazoon tight now okay It's pronounced Galaga Destroyer of Worlds. Oh, I can like stop sandbagging on that now that the reveal is over. I can like actually change his face. Oh, hmm, wait. Maybe I already did. Did I already do this? Where does he show up? He shows up at the arena in that goofy cutscene. Where does this... Does this scene play all the way from the arena? God dang, why do I do this? Why did I do this to myself? No, I didn't change the face yet. Maybe I was planning on changing the file name so that I wouldn't have to change the face. But then the face would have to be on the top right. I wonder if I accounted for this. Hmm. Besides Block Madness, have I done any ZC since Glory Squad? Wasn't, uh, whatchamacallit, Temple of Turmoil after, Temples of Turmoil, rather, after Glory Squad?
Oh god. I'm losing track of what map I'm on now. Just imagine when the game's actually getting closer to being finished and there's like five billion maps on this goofy thing. What are we up to now? It's over 300, right? Yeah, there's at least 306. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so many maps. Alright. And we're nowhere near done. <laughs> hey, how about that season one playtesting? That sure, did, that sure was a thing that happened. Alright. Can you search map feature? You can search maps. You can, only, you can search for very limited things, unfortunately, but eh, it's doable. You remembered to put Prince of Persia three times. Good man, Rainstorm! That's what I like to hear. Just for that, you've earned a chicken song. Get ready. Here we go. Chick on, 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 swindle chopper, chick on, 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 swindle chopper. Prizes can be whatever anyone's favorite Arpiga song is. Yeah, you've only got like a billion and five to choose from. Might as well, right? <laughs> oh, hey, Dark4. Stop and buy a bit before your stream. So wait a minute, what do you do now? Because I noticed you start at 3 o'clock on some days and you start at 2 o'clock on other days. What's your, what's your actual strategy here, Dark4? streaming Daggerfall the endless game see that's the true endless space Daggerfall doctor appointments all right oh yeah you're west coast not east coast I mean, both coasts are terrible, so. No, I, 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 just, I just love whaling on the coasts every so often. I gotta make sure I get my shots in here. They gotta start proving me wrong here, otherwise it's just gonna be too easy. West Coast better than East Coast? I can buy that. Or wait, can I? I don't know. West Coast is California. Ugh, that's pretty hardcore, man. I don't know. <laughs> California does some, uh, does some stuff. That's right, Mac. The Midwest is boring, and that's what makes it so great.
All right, let's see. You can't, you know, you aren't doing anything stupid. People can't talk about you, so. The philosophy of the Midwest. <laughs> you just gotta watch out for Chicago every once in a while. All right. You know, this could be a decent opportunity for Blaine to have a different kind of character development where he keeps looking at Carnelia and later Aaron as just students. Like, students shouldn't be involved in this. Students don't deserve to be this. But they're the ones, they're like actively trying to help and be a part of it and everything. That could like come into some type of teachable moment for him. I think that might be kind of nifty. Where it's like, doesn't really matter because they're, they're dedicated to the cause. He should probably notice this at Runestone. Because Runestone needs some more story stuff. Oh man, I can't wait to build Runestone. That place is going to be so neat. I just got to get it to look exactly like what I want it to look like. But yeah, I still, yeah. I, I, I like how all the female party members ended up being students of some kind. That one's kind of funny. That one's actually inadvertent. For all the things that I do plan ahead of, that was one that I didn't really think of ahead of time. It just happened to go on. Is there a demo uploaded somewhere? Uh, not one that's playable. I did play through the whole first season of the game, though, which took me about six hours, knowing where everything is and, and testing. But yeah, old Team UDF here got to get off his backside and upload the first season so everybody can play it. Because I'm already forgetting a lot of things about Season 1, and I think it would just be better if people playtested it for me at this point. I just need to sit down and do it, though. Your summary skills are not great. But Rain, how else will we know that every PDW wrestler is one of the strongest PDW wrestlers? Uh... So Blaine and Carnelli are just going to have another moment here while there's two possibly dead security guards or something here on the on the mysterious side of the boat. a good steam green light here let's put it in early access for like two years and charge 40 bucks that's a great idea right I'm sure I'm sure that'll make it popular does Arpaga have 4k support it sure does it has 4,000 minus Lots of... Okay, well, you all get where the joke is going, because it's... Alright, good. Fork. Point, she needs to bring up the Julius discussion probably in the office 
they need to get back to the office and talk about it. Practicing mountains and mountain ranges. Ooh. Okay. Wait a minute. These are just pieces of chocolate. No, okay. All right. No, looking pretty good so far, though. I recall Ral had said he's, he'd been working on maps for stuff, so this must be this must be part of that. Cume? <laughs> God dang it, Rain. We gotta do like a spelling test on this channel. Man, some of the more veteran viewers will remember the uh, the whole thing about how nobody could spell Kajido Nolan. That was like, that's that's my greatest creation just because of the spelling thing. Like, who the flood could spell this name? Trying to decide on a style. Looks like it's coming together. I know Firestar can spell Kajido, but that's because she loved Tails. Dark Four, yeah, Dark Four is still around. He can spell Kajido. What's the one spelling on the channel? It was like. It was like quasi do or something. It was such. I'm, I wish I had written down the really just weird out of the world spelling somewhere, because there were quite a few. Maybe Kate will remember. There was like a quasi do Nolan or whatever. Kajido. Kajit is innocent of this crime, Rainstorm. Too late, Nidair, you got wrecked by math. No, all right, okay. All right, I need to check the outside of Blaine's apartment. I feel like the answer to my question is going to be there. Season two intro, which is no longer the season two intro. Okay, let's see. What's this song? Oh, okay. Looking for a guy named Blaine. See, I like how this is a dead ringer here. I'm looking for a guy named Blaine. And then he refers to himself as an old buddy. Like, Julius makes a small error right at the beginning there. If you want to read deep into it. Maybe that's what Carnelia can pick up on. I mean, Carnelia is not going to trust him either way, but... Okay, so just... Just says... <laughs> Who here can pronounce Vise appointment? Oh, man! The freaking name! <laughs> I really don't know what I was doing. I remember Poiman was like a, ph a philosophical reference. I don't remember why I named him Visa though. That was just me going off and doing my weird ass, like, I don't know what the flit I was doing. Visa Poiman. And he was like the most requested return from Zero Freeze as well. Like, of course, this random one-shot character that slayed duels in the first episode and everybody wants him back. God dang it, I was, I goobed myself. Vi's appointment should make a return, though. He should make a return in Dokilo. I don't know if I can get the black bot strategy the exact same way that I had it set up in Zero Freeze, but it might be neat. Might work. I'm not doing, like, archetypal names, though, so I need, uh... Archetypical names? I don't know how this... I, I, might, I might have to come up with a different naming convention for the cards. Uh, alright, let's see. So he doesn't say his name anywhere. Okay, just had to make sure. Uh, 
Okay, because now the gist of this is that they're going to go back to the office. Oh, God. Where am I? Oh, here we are. Okay. Okay, they're going to go back to the office, and Cornelia needs to point out... Do I need a small mission here? All right, see you later, Dark Four. Enjoy your your dagger falling. Make him return here. What, Narpiga? That's eh, possible. I mean, his initial run through. He is technically part of the same timeline as Destiny's Horizon Blaine. This has got to be fun. When I just start talking in depth about the timeline and there's like new people floating around and they're like the flit is going on mate this has always got to be just a blast God, I do have a lot of lore don't I jeez and I haven't even like and not even the channel knows about like most of the GN stuff so there's like even more there's like 11 more years of history that people just aren't aware of. Well, I don't know about 11, maybe nine. Yeah, nine, nine's more accurate. Nine years, 2001, the earlier part of 2009, people wouldn't really be aware of. It almost seems intentional. Do an entire supplemental book just covering this stuff. Well, hey, remember when I wanted to do that uh, that book on Rig Veda and Singer or whatever? Like, they were supposed to have their own stories. It was like making of a creator, making of a villain or something. Oh, no, it was a two-part book for... It was a two-part series for Rig, rather. The first part was like... Yeah, okay. Yeah, the first one was creator... Because he was a baby face, but then Pegasus and everyone screwed with him, so then he was a heel. But then he, he was he was really Rig Veda, and okay. Uh -huh. I feel like we're still cutscene heavy here. There's no real way around it until we just get to the gameplay. I'm just going to keep going with the way that it's going now. Okay, so it seems almost intentional. Okay, I now need a... Arpagus Special Edition Base Game Soundtrack Blaine Figure and a lore book. And half of it's like Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm sure that would go over well in the marketplace. Uh... Also, I'm not gonna lie, and this is this is mostly good news for some of the more veteran readers like Catabella, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty. I'm pretty inclined to just start writing Destiny's Horizon alongside Battlezone because I feel like Destiny's Horizon is going to be really easy to replicate and modify if I just continue using the same namesakes and everything and just redesigning all the cards for my new game. It's actually Battlezone that will take a longer period of time since it's now going to be the brand new beginning of the game. So I feel like I can actually make really easy progress on Destiny's Horizon. By which I mean there there may or may not already be 2,000 words of Destiny's Horizon floating out there. <laughs> yes, how could that be? There's 
There's no way that I would just do that, right? Series ahead of other series. That's never happened before. Who would, who would do such a thing? Let's see, where she had a world created lore for at this point. I mean, you're kind of starting off with the kit thing, right? And the my man, or the, not the my man, you're the, you're the Mimians, right? Mimians. You, you kind of got something going. It might not be as far ahead as some of these other universes, but keep in mind, some of these other universes that we're talking about are like, these are like ancient. <laughs> I mean, my stuff is going all the way back to 2001. I don't know how far back Rainstorms goes or uh, Harmonies. But some of this crap has just been ticking along for five, 5,000 years. Still trying to work around annoying creative blockage. Fair, fair. Yes, I ended up spending most of the video on this thing anyway, but I think there's been some good discussion. So I, I believe it'll still be worth uploading, even if it's really crap for YouTube. Maybe people can just listen to this in the background and hopefully they were getting something done. I don't know. All right, let's see. I'm gonna need a switch here because we haven't done mission 10 yet. I will simply just do it that way. Yeah, okay, so let's just do a switch. Flid. Uh, hold on. I think I need to make this easier on myself and not have the meeting be in here. Where else could I have it, though? Possibly here in Blaine's, like, quote-unquote office. No, there should be, there should be an easy enough way to do this, so that I don't have to double up on. I'm actually just gonna do this. Okay, I think this is how we're gonna do it. Okay, where? Okay. Carnelia found. All right, so that now we can do post-car collectathon, we'll call it, because I need to continue to have really bad names for things. Okay, oh. I do need to switch this on. Not much more story. Basically just the confirmation that they need to start running around as a group. So that fewer risky things happen. And basically the confirmation that... Oh God, okay, so let's, what all do I need to get done here? I need to get the confirmation that they need to run around. The confirmation that Carnelia has to keep going back to school so as not to draw attention, and the confirmation of Julius being present at Blaine's apartment, so that the UDF starts to get suspicious that someone's following them. Because we need to start the game of cat and mouse with the DC, like, right now. Because we're about to enter... We're about to enter Tarasina here. Hey, Arkea. I also need to shut off all the things that I have not shut off here, so why don't we wrap this event up? I need a fade, yeah. I don't have a fade. I think I can let the player infer here how... Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna let that one go. Okay. The programmer's still in control, so I think this is safe enough without needing any other blatant details. All right, we need to shut everything off. Let's see. I could have just had this switch A and B off, huh? I guess I didn't need this whole thing here. I guess that's technically how I had it set up, but let's just set them all up the same way. Because I know I set this one up as an A, B. Did I set these up as an A, B? Yeah, okay, so. This one, though, I'm just turning A off, okay. Okay, so the unit fighter's gone. Wait, he needs a C. Yeah, no. Oh, I just changed his... I see. I, okay, I got what happened here. I just changed his image. Okay, and then... Unit 4192 here is just going to be fine. Unit 2 to the 12th power. How did I pick this number? 4192. Because it's not a power of two. Did I just name this thing randomly? Maybe I did. Alright. Thought I named him a power of two. Alright, whatever. Let's see. You have a Yu-Gi-Oh! story in the back burner. Still not 100% sure on how to implement the main things you have in mind. Your regular stories are living ghosts. Nowhere close to Rain's word count. I don't want to look at the battle zone word count. That'll just make me go nuts that Dokilo hasn't reached that point yet. <laughs> I will abstain from checking the battle zone word count again. I know it was like 1.5 million or something, but oh, Jesus. That'll just remind me of where I think Dokilo should be by now. Alright, this should all be fine. Switch on. Switch on Carnelia found. I think so, Harmony. I remember the smash thing that we found was like three times as large, but it might actually be... Yeah, I don't know if it would make top five. Maybe it could make top ten or something, though. For just length, not necessarily quality, although people did like it, but... Alright. Oh, uh, let's see. Dokilo, yes, that's the... Yes, that's the correct spelling, Rainbow. You did it. How odd a city of you... No, I'm kidding. Okay. I gotta make this conversation loop. That's how it works. You gotta... Everything's gotta come in perfect threes here. Postcar collectathon. Let's see. Yeah, there's okay. Hang on. Let me turn on the meeting in the boat.
Okay, I'm pretty sure it's impossible for one of these meetings to play again. Yeah, I've been turning them off. Okay. I just had to check to make sure there's no way that a goofy... Okay. Spooky Thunder. Let me just throw the back of the event in here. Part of the yeah, so those I th I think those are being turned off by the time I have Scarbane. They might have to. I'm pretty sure I can turn this off right now. shouldn't be anything else that needs to be done with it, because this doesn't rely on it. That's the only other thing happening here. So, okay, so then these are lowered. I also like the subtle assumptions here that this girl with the frying pan is outlasting programs designed to guard the bridge of all travel. That's just going to be fantastic. You can easily reason that the guard's just in taking all the, the fight for himself, but I do, I do like that. That's pretty funny. Frying pan is beyond God tier. All right, let's try to make this a little short because we've been doing plenty of cutscene here. I suspect season two will be more story heavy than season one, but I don't know. I still feel like we should get the player kicked in their rear and, and going along here. These are just lollipops. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. Oh. Okay. It's Candyland. That's right. I mean, they look pretty basic. They look like they would fit the... The pines look like beach umbrellas. Ooh, they kind of do, I guess. I can see that. I do think they fit the same style, though. They certainly don't clash with the style. You 
should sit under those umbrellas. God dang it. How you doing, buddy? Debating on if you want to start a rando. Ooh. I'm sure you mean crossover. Excellent. It is the only rando. Oh man. When's our uh, Final Fantasy Super Mario RPG Metroid A Link to the Past crossover randomizer coming out? And throw Mirage Island in there just because it's got a billion things. I can't legally touch Metroid. Uh, is there like a restraining order? Team UDF not allowed to run the Metroid games, boy -o. People still use the phrase douche nozzle. That is news to me. will be the thing that sets off Carnelia to remember to be like, oh, by the way. Uh oh. Twitch is dropping frames. That might cause some desync in the video. I guess I'll try to hurry up and finish this cutscene, then we can call it an episode. I don't think it's a terribly productive episode, but I thought there was some good discussion, so again, hopefully YouTube can do something with it. And I might as well upload these semi-regularly anyway, regardless of how much progress we make. That's pretty much what I did for Season 1.
Makes you want to write out your world timeline. Day one, eat candy. Day two, eat kit no, okay. Return to Candy Cadet. And I don't remember the quote. It's a goofy thing now. Alright. Um, purple. Let's see. Let's get our color palette. Alright, let's see. 30 looks like it works. 30 or 31. Random guy. All right, what I would really like to do here, because I know my cutscenes are less than stellar when it comes to graphical effects, I would actually like to flash to Blaine's apartment out here. I know I shouldn't make it a separate map. But it would be nice to start doing more, like, actual flashbacks instead of the lazy review everything in text approach that I've been taking. I just hate doing it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. If I was to do this... change the music though that's the one problem I think it is just easier to make a new map god it's really kind of annoying but that's unfortunate because yeah then I have to like all right well I've done it once before it's not like it'll be vastly new if I do it now Heart is about to burst. All right, fine. Let's see you burst now, Jubsy. No, okay. All right. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Well, you know what? I need to keep part of that, because I need the... Jobs, you need to cut back on the fried food. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. I gotta do transparency while I'm thinking about it.
Yeah, this is not an efficient use of cutscene making, but... This counts as map 34. I must have deleted a couple maps in between. Well, that's good. We can just fill in the missing numbers then, I suppose. The missing nose. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, I actually remember how that came to be. I actually did make a couple changes to Numeron Neon off screen. I took the offices that were on separate maps and I just made my warp doors that I had added for the rest of the game. So now this whole place is on one map instead of three. So it was a, a made a little more efficient use of the space. So that I could trade off and make really inefficient cutscenes. <laughs> all right. That's all still fine. You know, I can just get rid of these. I don't even need those things. Okay. You know what? I just need to play the... I just need to play the whole thing on one... Hmm. No, I'll do this the same way that I did the rail cutscenes. Hang on. Or I'll just continue it from... Okay. Okay, random guy, all right. So that this continues when you come back. See, this actually is kind of neat because I get to use the fact that Blaine contacted Lagrange and the Cherbs in Season 1, so they actually legitimately don't know who it is. And just based on Carnelia's description of what the guy looked like, although Julius is black, But if she didn't mention that he was black, they wouldn't know that. And so it could still create the same ruse. I guess this works? Yeah, she just has to not mention that he's black, basically. Like, that just slips her... She's, like... She doesn't think it's a necessary detail. So she just doesn't say it. So now Blaine... Kolarovich and Locke don't know if it could be Lagrange or the Cherbs. And Carnelia never knew the Cherbs or Lagrange, so she wouldn't know that it's not them. So I think this, like, actually is a freak detail that works. You just have to assume that she never said he was black. God dang it, Chubbs. <laughs>
Okay, Lockwood used the phrase upstage. What, what, what other phrase would he... One up me here, okay. Then Blink would just be like, what? <laughs> Staff's got to be the best bounty hunter, baby. I feel like I can have the reader infer here that Blaine just wants to be the one protecting Carnelia because he thinks it's easiest if he does it. I don't think I need to have a little footnote where he explains it to the reader. I feel like that's a small enough detail that they either like can, they can hunt for it if they care or they don't need to worry about it. Because there's, pl there's plenty of other stuff in play, like the taunt and, and whatever else. Alright, I think I can just end this here. I really feel like these have gone on long enough. I wouldn't trust Kalarovich. Or Laka's models of good child care professionals. Yeah, you know, that 20-year-old child Carnelia. How old is she? 20, right? 21, okay. Everybody's just jumping around the internet. Doing them wackogine. going to generate a seed. Different take on pines. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Now there's snakes. No, I'm kidding. Okay. We just like continually ruin everything. Don't step on this neck. Don't step on the nope rope. Yeah, 
Ooh, that was a bolt of lightning. All right, I'm just gonna kick you right back in. Not even bothered, wait, not even waste your time. All right. Cutscene might not fully be done with uh, details, but just in case the power goes out, I wanna make sure I end the episode here so the footage doesn't get corrupted. So on YouTube, we'll see you guys later. We'll continue working off screen. Thanks for watching and boy.